So with Justo, uh, the way some of the companies use the technology is they look at their own infrastructure and uh, you know they're aware that generally speaking it's underutilized, right? And they want to be able to run more applications um, on top of that to actually be able to use it. So in some cases, you know, say you're a financial services company or you're a bank, there's a, a lot of sort of Monte Carlo type simulations that are running uh, uh, in your clusters that uh, could definitely benefit from many, many more servers and you know, many more nodes for you to run on. Basically, the more nodes you have, the more accurate you can do like a bond pricing you know, to, to the 19th digit instead of the 18th digit. Um, so what Justo allows companies to do is take every server in the company, you know, if you're a large bank, this could be 50,000 plus servers in the company, and essentially use the idle capacity of those resources, which is actually most of the capacity is idle on those resources, and essentially run much more detailed Monte Carlo simulations you know, on 50,000 servers plus. So that's like a huge advantage to you know, the companies that are, that are able to do that. So it takes a lot to you know, run a data center. So electricity is a, you know, and energy is a, is a huge part of it. Um, the other part of it is you know, the capex of associated with going out and buying you know, servers to support your infrastructure and uh, the opex associated with you know, people um, you know, working in this environment and you know, pulling like, broken you know, servers and you know, replacing them and so forth. So um, there's a lot of costs associated with running the data center. And of course, there's the, a lot of other infrastructure costs. I mean, cooling the environment, and so these environments generate a lot of heat, um, adds a lot to the budget. And because of this, you know, when you go to different companies and you, know, you ask them, you ask the people that are running the applications, hey, do you have enough resources to run your applications in? Typically the answer is like, no, we'll use whatever resource like, we can get our hands on and we want more. Um, and the limitation typically is, is because companies have their um, infrastructure upgrade cycle and you know, they know roughly how much they're gonna own you know, five, 10 years from now. And th they can't really expand on that too much. Uh, so it's a constrained environment, and it's, and it's kind of this pressure from both sides. This pressure on how can we make it more efficient to reduce, you know, the money that we're paying for it y yearly, um, and collectively people are paying like hundreds of billions of dollars annually on, you know, running data centers. And on the other side, there's the people that are actually running the applications and, and so forth that actually want more access to resources, and they constantly pressure the company, hey, can we open up more resources for us to use? So the company really feels that pressure. So the nice thing about Justo, how it fits into that, is it allows companies to essentially have a more um, uh, efficient use of their existing infrastructure. So it's not asking the companies to you know, buy into uh, any more hardware or hire more people to manage the hardware. It's essentially whatever you have, Justo can make it more efficient. And in some cases, you can double or more your productivity of the same exact resources you already have and are managing um, you know, just by using your own idle capacity. Uh, so this is valuable kind of from a CapEx perspective, like an OpEx, there's an overall uh, uh, ROI, you know, that these companies feel because they get to use more of what they have, you know, without investing in more hardware or people. We've been tossing a number of ideas around, you know, one of the ideas that kept coming back was, like, why, why isn't this a high utilization? I mean, we're in, you know, 2014, uh, uh, why are there still like unused, you know, resources that are out there?